Ah, <sighs> anybody else glad that we brought the couches? Uh, not Feels really. Feels like home. Mm. Yeah, you made us carry the couch all the way out here. I I helped. Uncle oh, Vinny yeah. is in a hop, skip, and a jump away. He's that was a good walk, and these things are heavy. Hey, I helped. No, your motivational speech on the way here was the opposite of motivation. It was terrible. We worked so hard carrying the couch, and you're just saying, "Oh yeah, good work, guys. Keep going." Thanks. Hey, do you have any idea how hard it is to lift these couches with arms that aren't yours? Ross's body still feels weird to me. It's hard to move around properly. Guys, guys, I put so much effort into the way that I motivated you guys. You said you could do it. You dipped into a coffee shop, got a cookie, and followed us. Yeah? It was, it was oatmeal, too. That's like the worst thing you could ever do to us. I'm sorry. For some reason, this body likes oatmeal cookies. Anyway, ah. we need to figure out how to get our bodies back. Yeah, I, I'm not really in the rush to do that, guys. I just have binocular vision. I want my body back. Bernie, we understand you enjoy having two eyes. It's not binocular vision, though. Binoculars make things seem closer. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. What if I tried to get back into my own body by crawling in through the mouth? I mean, Jin, how that, that even gonna work? I, I don't. Wait. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, I like the way you think, though. Um. I'd say the best thing would probably be to implement a process of elimination. I mean, if we can figure out who cursed us, we can figure out the why after. Huh. Yeah, but how's we're gonna eliminate all the process, Rot? We've kind of we've kind of made a lot of people angry. <sighs> who would wanna curse us though? That's such a mean thing to do. Yeah, we never did anything that bad to deserve a curse. Well, whatever it is, we need to start brainstorming. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Sky, why didn't you help us move the couches again? Yeah, what? Sky, what the heck, man? I'm sorry. Walkways? I'm sorry. You don't understand. You don't understand my life, okay? I just. What? I... Tell, tells me, tells me what's so hard in your life that your can't helps us carry the couch. You see, ever since I was a boy. Yeah, I just didn't want to move him. I'll be honest with you. Anyway, we should probably go check what? on. Uh, we should probably go check on Ross. <sighs> well, I'm right here. Uh, Funny. No, we should probably Jin. go check on Ross. Oh wait, no, I'm Jin. Yeah, yeah. Jin, you're not Ross just because you're in his skin. So look, we... I'm tired. My mind is tired. You didn't help us move the couch again. It doesn't help that you stopped at the exact same cookie shop and bought the exact same cookie again. Yeah, what the heck was that for, Sky? Listen, listen. I don't judge you guys on how you guys live your life. All right? Now let's move forward. You're not even chocolate chip friendship level. Don't say that. You went there. Don't you say went that. There. Don't say that. You don't mean Sorry. that. You don't yeah, mean that. Yeah, Jin, you don't mean that. You should apologize. I I'm just upset because what is Ross doing? Well, I said he said he was going to try and figure out a solution, so we should probably go ask him. All well, right. I hope he's not messing up my room guys, too much. Guys, watch this. Watch this. Watch. There's a stick up! No. Oh, hey, hey. Ah, oh, I thought this was gonna be funnier. That didn't work at all. No. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Hey, wait a minute. Guys, I just realized something. My room doesn't have nearly enough toys. You should yeah, probably we... get more then. You know what? Probably... When, when this is all over, you can have a few of my chickens. Then you put chicken here, maybe a couple cards yeah, over here. Yeah, guys, we don't need oh, to be in any rush to get this all over with. Anyway, what, what was your whole plan? Alright, so what I came up with was. Why not get everyone we've ever wronged together and just throw like a fancy dinner party? We can talk to them, we can apologize, you know. Wait, and then wait, wait, wait. Am I just gonna have to pay with some of my gold for this party? No. N no, no. No, we... stop offering! Stop offering my stuff! That wasn't offers, I wanna keep it all. But anyway, no. whatever. My plan was we invite everyone over here, we apologize to them, 
whoever is will step forward and be like, oh, I'm sorry for cursing you guys. You guys aren't all that bad. And that's and... when we throw the bag over their head, right? What? What? That, well, that's yeah, what? we're going to beat them up for doing this to us, right? No. Oh. No, Jen, we're I mean, going to make sure Actually, us. you know what? Yeah, let's do that. No, mm. guys, if we're beat them up, then they can't fix the problem that we have. Oh, yeah. But well, if they don't fix the problem, that's a good plan B. I, I okay. have I have a I have a and... I have one small thing with that. We're bringing all of all of these people who hate us into one room, and you don't yeah. see how this could possibly go bad. Uh, no. Well, it can't be that many. Well, so far I've only sent about sixteen invitations. Okay, that's I... good. Good. I have sixteen of them. Uh, probably. No, no Gus, there's gonna probably be more. I'm only on page uh, one of forty, though. What? What? <laughs> Ross, the guests are arriving. Are you in there? Don't come in. Ross, you all right, buddy? Don't come in. Ross, what's wrong? I'm coming in. I told you not to come in. Ross, what's wrong, buddy? My brain is so powerful. It it hurts. I just I just want my whole body back. Well, yeah, that's why you're using that brain to give a convincing speech to our guests tonight. But the stakes are too high. I haven't dealt with this much pressure since planning Thunder Muffin's birthday party. We all know how that turned out. But this is different, Ross. Just speak from your heart. Or Jin's heart. I don't know. Just don't screw up. <laughs> what a true friend. I they gave me food yeah. poisoning. They ruined my life. Yeah, they were the best. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for a celebration. What's that to celebrate about divorce? I'm glad you asked. We're all here today to practice a thing I'd like to call forgiveness. You see, when we live with grudges and anger, it changes us. It changes who we are. Occasionally, we have to step back, take a deep breath, and decide to let go of the things that are outside of our control. Anger doesn't solve anything. It really only fuels the fire. So I'd like to say, I'm sorry for everything that we've done to you all, and request a little forgiveness and understanding in return. Needs more explosions! Please, no more explosions. <sighs> now, I know what you're all thinking. <sighs> Sky, why didn't you help again? Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I honestly did not think you would actually go ahead and move the couch. What? What? Sky, why you told us to move the couch then? And why you said you're gonna be right back to help? And then you're gone for like, hey, like an Barney, hour. Hey, Barney, listen, listen. There's way more important things to think about right now. Like the cookie you went and got. It was a good cookie. Anyway, what'd you guys think of the party? Yeah, that. I mean, that was lots of people, guys. We're, we're not very nice. Well, mm -hmm. I think the important part is we all finally got to meet them again and reconcile. I mean, they're all pretty nice people once you really get to know them. Yeah, I kind of find it funny. It was pretty much obvious all along that we just, we treat others so poorly. And we don't even treat each other that good. I think yeah, we're, we're not very nice to each other. Yeah. We need to think about how our actions reflect on other people. Yeah. That's hard to thinking like that. I don't really like doing that. Yeah. I, I guess this whole thing was just a listen to serve us a slice of humble cake. Pie. Humble pie. Pie. We having pie. pie? No, 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 no. We, well, there I might want still pie. be pie left over, but... I love pie. Is there any humble in humble pie? I remember I had horseradish once and there wasn't even a little bit of horse. I was disappointed. Uh, no. Jin, no, there's no humble in humble's pie and there's no horse in horseradish. Oh. I, I had I had humble buy before, and it was really good with pita bread. I think I think you're thinking of hummus. And oh. hummus isn't even a pie. It's it's just kind of like a spread. Oh, well. I wish I was that smart again. I miss being smart like that. Anyway, obviously the curse was placed on us for a lesson. Yeah, we should all probably try and be nicer to one another. I mean, we're all supposed to be friends and roommates, right? Yeah, I mean, your guys is like, well, your guys is my best friends, and hey, I, you're I my guess... friend too, buddy. Thanks, you. Yeah, your guys, we're close. We should treat each other better. Yeah. So, 
what should we do now? I mean, we're not changed back. Well, I'd say it, it might rain tonight. We should get this couch inside, but other than that, we should just have a good night's sleep and hopefully we'll wake up in the right bodies. Oh, yeah, because we went to sleep and then we woke up in each other's bodies. So if we sleep again, maybe everything will be back to normal. Why didn't we well, do that in the beginning? Guys, oh. oh, hold on, hold on. You know, uh, why don't we just not go to sleep? We're you getting... have to sleep eventually, Barney. You can't stay up forever. Ah, uh, but guys, I just have binocular vision. I can. Oh, you know, we're Fine. not. You're not keeping my body, Barney. All right. Uh, on that Fine. note, I think I'm personally gonna go head to bed. Guy, you have fun with the couches. Wait, wait, what? You want me to get couches? I thought we were all gonna be nicer to each other. We all gonna just. No, uh, you know what, guys? I'll do it. I'll move these couches. Well, I did not expect that answer, Jen. Oh. I was gonna say, hey, we'll start being nice to each other in the morning. No, I got this. This is fine. You guys go to bed. Oh, All okay. Right. Good night. Thanks, I'll go bye. my own way. Ah! Ow. Pain is temporary. Pain is temporary. Don't worry. You'll be fine. All right. To move these couches. I'm, I'm going to call a moving company. Maybe they'll bring me some cookies on the way here. <laughs> I'm back in my own body! Me too! I no longer feel the urge to talk like Barney! Ah! Is I no longer the lady killer? Who could that be? I'm sure this will prove interesting. Max! Oh, hey, Max. Where's you been? Where have I been? Yeah, you haven't been around much lately. Lately? I haven't heard from you guys in over a year! Jeez, has it really been that long? Yikes. Time flies when you're having fun. It's been the slowest year of my life. Man, remember we'd hang out and watch TV and go on wild adventures all the time? Yeah, Sky, I remember. So what happened? One day I just never heard from you guys again. I guess we just kind of forgot about you. Man, that sounds a lot worse than it actually is. Nope, it's just as bad as it sounds, which is why I cursed you guys. Wait, you're the one that cursed us. Totally unchill. Why you do this, Max? Because you all forgot about me. I was one of your best friends, and you all dropped me off of the face of the earth. I guess he's right, guys. We deserve this. I mean, Max has always been our close friend. I don't know how we could have done this to him. I'm so sorry, Max. Yeah, Max. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't feel guilty. Can you forgive us? I, I guess so. Th thanks, guys. I I'm glad we can just put this behind us. Come inside. Let's sit down, kick it, watch some TV, and I promise, I swear to you this, Max, I never, ever, ever will forget about you again. <laughs>